Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to go over how to create this design right here. It's a pretty easy one, just combining some graphics and fonts. It is sort of that anti-Valentine's Day style of design, which is, you know, always great around Valentine's Day is to do the anti-Valentine's Day designs. By the way, if you like this mock-up, um, you should know it's really simple and easy to make. This is just a basic Gildan mock-up uh, picture in the background, and then all you do is add some flourishes. So for this, all I did was put some roses here in the corner, which I just did a little cut out of the background and added a drop shadow so that it looks nice. I put a little flourish up here, and then your design, you just stick right in the middle of the shirt, and that's how you can make a pretty cool mock-up pretty easy and you can just sort of keep reusing this shirt backdrop over and over again. Now, if I'm selling on Etsy, by the way, I do sell Gildan shirts. And so this is specifically a Gildan shirt because I do want people to know what the actual shirt looks like versus some of those generic mock-ups where the cut of the shirt may not be anything close to the shirt that you're actually selling them. Um, and so there's some really awesome looking, you know, mock-ups up there. Problem is it may not be what you're selling. Your design looks good on it, but I do want it to actually represent my product. I have similar ones for like a Bella Canvas. If I'm selling a Bella Canvas, I do have some Bella Canvas shirts here that I would do the same general idea with where I could put my design right on the shirt and then throw some flourishes in if it's a particular holiday or whatnot, or just leave by itself. And so that was just a little extra um, if you're interested in, you know, how you can kind of make some good mock-ups for your business. Anyways, though, this video is going to show you how you can create this Not Today Cupid design. So if that's something that you're interested in, please do stick around. Okay, so I'm on Canvas homepage. I want to show you guys how you can make a Valentine's Day design. In fact, this is an anti-Valentine's Day design. But we're going to go ahead and go to custom size on the upper right hand side of the page. And we're going to select 4500 by 5400 pixels. That is the the size that I use for my t-shirt designs. And I will be designing primarily for black, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select my background color as black. And so for this design, we are gonna do a funny one, and this is sort of that anti-Valentine's Day one, pretty common, it says not today Cupid. There are a ton of these floating around, so many different ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you guys one way that's going to use sort of more of a vintage flourish style. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is start by looking for sort of a, a frame. So a vintage orna ornate, you know, frame. So let's go ahead and go with, or flourish line, ornate line, ornate frame, ornate you might have to search a few different things. I'm gonna to go to graphics and you can already see there's lots of fun ornate frames and just like corner pieces that you can use to make your own frames. And so you can pick anything you like, you can play with these and of course you can make lots of different versions. I'm looking for something relatively simple, preferably a little bit more on the square side. Certainly if it's rectangular, nothing that's too narrow. Um, so you can just sort of play around and see what you like. Here's a pretty simple one here and it has magic recommendations for others. So let me go ahead and change the color on this so you can actually see it. Make it white there. And so that's a pretty cool one there. That one's pretty simple. And there's lots of these in here. Some of them have little dots, two dots. Some of them have sort of more open corners. And so they're all just slightly different. Those sort of have open lines there. Those are totally closed lines. Here's a really closed off one if you wanted something dark. Ooh, I kind of like this one. This one looks a little bit more open. And so lots of different styles that you can pick from. I'm gonna, let me give this one a try. This one looks kind of cute. Again, pick a color. And so, you know what, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Nice and swirly, pretty, well, looks nice. And so that's gonna be sort of my frame that I'm gonna work with on my shirt. And so I'm gonna do a design, it's gonna say not today Cupid, so what do I need? I definitely need Cupid. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit Cupid. And there's 
tons of different cupids again that you can pick from. Um, I like the silhouette style for this type of design, but again, you can make as many of these styles of designs as you want, and there's just, you know, so many different ones and so many different even silhouette styles. So I'm gonna go ahead, I liked this one here, it was simple. And I'm gonna go ahead again and make it red. I'm gonna put him right in the middle. May even angle him a little bit more. So something like that. And then we're gonna pull up some text boxes. So first text box, this one's going to say not today. So I'm gonna hit not, oops, today. Like the space there. And we're gonna have to change the color so I can see it. So let's just go ahead and again, pick white so that I can see it. And it's gonna go up here. And then we're gonna have one more text box down here it's going to say cupid actually hmm, debating on whether or not i always like to start lowercase until i pick my fonts because i never know how a font is going to turn out upper or lowercase and so i can always change it then so there's my not today cupid so far so easy uh, and so the hardest part is usually kind of picking the fonts and, and moving everything around. So after playing for a while, oops, font I had come up with today was, let's see, the top one I did one called a Butterfly Wish, and that was one that I did get off of Creative Fabrica uh, for free, by the way. That was a free one. <laughs> so... Um, Matter of fact, I've never paid for any of my fonts. All of the fonts I've gotten off Creative Fabrica are free, so that's nice. So I did Butterfly, which is just a nice scripty one. There's all sorts of scripty fonts on Canva too, so you don't have to do one from an outside source, but you can. So you can always kind of play with what you like. So my Not Today, that looks pretty cool right there, like that. And then Cupid, I was gonna do in a different font. So the one I ended up going with um, for the bottom after looking through a lot of fonts was this one called Beardsome's Normal Regular. And so that looked pretty cool just like that. So I did like the way that one looked. This was another one that I ended up getting off of Creative Fabrica. Um, so if you haven't, you can always check out Creative Fabrica and, and you know, See, they've got lots of cool free fonts, all sorts of freebies that you can download and then use on Canva. I do have a video on my page if you look for it on pretty much how to download free Creative Fabrica fonts and use them on Canva. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, and so I kind of got that space to there and that looks pretty cool. I might even space it out just a little bit so it's a little wider. So to do that, I can go to the top where you see the up and down arrow and I can bring that letter spacing out just a smidge. That way it looks like it's filling the bottom a little bit better and so I do like that. I might even take the top here and just to give it a little bit more flourish and give it just the tiniest curve. So something like that looks pretty good. And then maybe a few flourishes maybe around Cupid himself or maybe even changing the angle of, of him so I can always have him facing the other direction if I want. So all sorts of ways. You always see Cupid facing. He can face either direction. So you can play with that all you want. Let's see if I can get any like flourish lines. So flourish lines. And so something like that, just really simple, you know, lines that pop out are good, but flourish lines, um, ornate lines, decorative lines, those are all things that you can search for. You may have to search, you know, for a little bit to find the ones that you want. That's a little bit maybe bigger than I want it to be. Let's see. I control D, by the way, hitting control D will duplicate it. And so it's an easy way to just, you know, get the same size and then I can flip, there we go. And put it maybe over here. So maybe I like this one here and that one kind of fits around the bow pretty nicely there the way I've got it. This one maybe comes down No, it comes down on the foot a little bit. 
Eh, I don't really see a way that I like that as much, but something there. And of course you can play with all of these. So all of this is just a lot of fun playing. There's all sorts of fun lines that we can use. So I just picked something simple there, but again, you can do all sorts of creative things. So let's just say we're going with this because I want to keep it simple. I can keep it all black. I can change it to pink. I can change it to red. I can change some of it to black, some of it to red, some of it to pink. You know, you can play as much as you want. Let's go ahead and say, I'm going to go ahead and make maybe the writing red. So maybe pick a nice, easy red color. Make sure it's something bright enough that I can see it. Maybe even on the pinker side there, something there. Not today, Cupid, I like that. Let's go ahead and make those kind of red too. Ta-da. So something like that, or I could do the exact opposite. Maybe the exact opposite would look good because I want the writing to pop. So let's go ahead and change it. I'm gonna change these back to white and I'm gonna do the opposite. So the opposite would be to have the frame red and to have Cupid red. And that's a little bit easier. Not today, Cupid. And so that's pretty simple. So any way you want to play with it, it looks nice and it's a good anti-Valentine's shirt, which if you think about it, people make all sorts of Valentine's Day shirts. I don't typically see people wearing a lot of Valentine's Day shirts, maybe little kids, but you know, you don't always wear a shirt specifically for Valentine's Day, but the single people, there's a lot of fun single people design and they seem a lot more likely to wear the anti-Valentine's Day short shirts. The shirts are like single awareness day or something like that. Um, so you can look up different niches for um, anti-Valentine's Day. Um, I do think those do a little bit better than Valentine's Day. But there you go. This is a really simple way to make sort of a fun design that uses nothing but, you know, some basic elements and kind of groups them together in a unique way. Um, if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well on your fourth quarter. I know it's pretty much coming to an end. And so I hope you're well on your way to designing for the first quarter. If you haven't seen it, I have a video on my page on first quarter niches. And so check that out if you haven't seen it. And I hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.